Hey guys, today I'm back with a long awaited update where I've been, what I've been doing, how my health has been, what my favorite foods have been, what books have I been reading, what's happening with the sticker shop. We're gonna go over all the things you've been asking me. So get your coffee, get your tea, get your wine, and let's hang out. Rewind back to right before Christmas, I came on here and I did a video called Changes Are Needed where I basically talked about how my life just felt very overwhelming. I was feeling really unwell. I had just been diagnosed with an autoimmune disease that we think had been acting up for a long time and it had kind of reached its peak and I was going to be starting a new medication. And I was really excited. In that video, I was very hopeful that I was gonna feel better really quickly. I'm not even sure why I was so confident in that because my rheumatologist was very frank with me that there are a lot of different medications and it isn't an easy thing to fit a patient with the medication that works for them. And you have to give each one 12 weeks to know if it's even going to be effective. In that video, I talked about how I was going low gluten, low dairy, and low sugar because those were the three biggest inflammation flare-up food groups that I was told to cut back on and see if that would help. So I did that. And what I found out after doing that for months is that I am not triggered by food, which is really lucky because I've been able to incorporate gluten, dairy, and sugar back into my everyday diet with no issues. It truly was something where I needed a medication. And for some people, foods are a much bigger trigger than for other people with autoimmune disorders. I think that it actually started happening when I was postpartum with James because I did in one of my recent videos, I talked about how I had my first like flare up of what now we know is this autoimmune thing back when I was seven months postpartum with my first child. And I don't think it ever went away. I think it just progressively got worse it got a little bit better during pregnancy because a lot of autoimmune issues do get better in pregnancy. And then it came back with a vengeance postpartum with my second child. And I think that I had these issues brewing under the surface when we were trying for our second child. I think I was just attributing a lot of the bad things I was feeling to what was happening in my life, which at the time with all of the miscarriages was obviously very stressful and it was very easy to be like, well, that's why I feel so horrible. But I think it was both. A lot of people were asking me what the specific autoimmune disease is. A lot of people were speculating that it was either gout or MS or Crohn's disease. And it is none of those things. It is actually an inflammatory arthritis, which makes me feel very old to be diagnosed with a type of arthritis and i think that's why i didn't say it in that video because i'm a little bit embarrassed i'm just being really open with you guys right now i know a lot of people actually have these types of things and they're not open with it because they feel similar types of ways about it i also think it's a lot harder to talk about things when you're in the midst of feeling horrible about it and it's new to you and you're just learning about it and you're trying to figure out how it's going to affect your life and it's a lot easier to talk about it when you have a medication that is controlling the symptoms and you're feeling like your old self. I do wanna talk a little bit about my experience with the medication and how it didn't go as smoothly as I expected it to in my head with my rose colored glasses on. And I also want to tell you guys what I've been doing with my diet. Cause like I said, I have been incorporating gluten, dairy and sugar back in. Although I have been trying to go low sugar it's very difficult. That's definitely been my hardest one. Before I get into all of that, I do wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Beyond Body. Beyond Body is the world's first fully personalized wellness book. They combined software engineers with world-class nutritionists, and they came up with this algorithm that can put you together a book with 28 days of meals, and it also goes so much deeper than just diet. It's not about weight loss. It gives you a lot of tips for your sleep quality, your stress levels, your mindfulness. They have both a website and an app, and you go on there and you take a quiz and it asks you a lot of detailed things, not just your height and your weight and your body type. It asks you about your food preferences, your allergies, if you have certain food groups that you wanna cut out. So that was very good for me when I was trying to go low gluten, low dairy, and I was having to like change up everything that I was eating. That was very difficult and this definitely helped me. It also asks you questions about your lifestyle, your stress levels, your wellness levels, which exercises you like to do, what your capabilities 
abilities are. There's a personalized workout plan based on your fitness levels. And one thing that I really like about this is the recipes for the meals are not difficult. I am not a cook. I would not be able to do it if they were difficult, complicated recipes. They're very easy. They're made with fresh ingredients. And every single book is personally checked out by a nutritionist before it's sent to you. So you know that everything in there is for you. I actually learned quite a few things in here. It recommends for my body type to wear more rounded necklines. This is really random. I tend to go for V-necks. That's like my cut of choice. And as you can see, I'm wearing a more rounded neckline right now and I really like it. So if you are interested in trying out Beyond Body for yourself, they are doing 50% off site-wide plus an additional 10% off if you use my code and my link. You have to use the link below in order to get the extra 10% off with my code. So I will have both the link and the code below, 50% off plus 10% off on top of that. I definitely recommend this. I think it's a very unique concept and I've really enjoyed my book. Thank you so much Beyond Body for sponsoring this portion of my video. I really appreciate it. And I do wanna tell you guys about a food that has changed my life that is based off a recipe in this book and it is a salad. And you guys might be like a salad, not what I expected. Um, me neither, because I have never been a salad person. There are a couple restaurants in the world where I will always get a salad. The Wood Ranch salad in California was so good, but I have never been a home salad person. I've never found a salad either pre-made or made from scratch at home that I have enjoyed more than just like once. This salad has changed my life. I could eat this every day for lunch for the rest of my life and probably never get tired of it. Now, granted, I am someone who can eat things on repeat without getting tired of them. I've had Greek yogurt and granola for breakfast every single morning since I incorporated dairy back into my diet. And while I was low dairy, I did a dairy-free version of a yogurt and the same granola. So I am a little bit repetitive, but this salad is so good. And I would say it's pretty unique because I have never seen anyone use ground beef in a salad before. And it is life-changing because it enables you to get like the perfect amount of meat in every single bite. And it lasts me for three meals. If I had to marry a food right now, it would be this stupid salad. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. This salad is super simple. It's very easy to put together, but it tastes delicious and it's very filling. You start off with a salad kit bag. I really like this one specifically because I really like the dressing and I like that it already has some of the toppings that I would like to include anyway. I'm going to add in some ground beef and and some roasted carrots and sweet potatoes. Then I'm going to put the salad dressing that comes in the kit bag, super easy, and that's it, you guys. You stir this all up, you eat it, you enjoy it. Here's my plate of what I'm about to eat. The book also has a recipe for a cucumber dressing that's really delicious. I don't know if that would be in everyone's book since they're personalized, but it is so good. I'm gonna leave the recipe for that dressing below as well. All right, so my medication journey. I was told that I would be taking an injection every other week in my stomach, which is not scary to me because after going through infertility and IVF and all of that kind of stuff, I have done so many shots in my stomach, it's not even funny. When I went to my 12 week follow-up appointment, I was not better. I wouldn't say I was too much worse, but I was worse in the way that I had had a new area flare up. So the areas that were flared up before going on the medication hadn't gotten worse, but they hadn't gone away. I would say they probably had gotten a little bit better, but I had a new area that had flared up in that time. And my doctor was like, no, like this is not what we should be seeing. We should be seeing you like 70, 80% better and this is not it. So she basically gave me the choice of either switching medications or going to every week instead of every other week and trying that for six weeks and seeing if that like boosted it up enough to make the difference. And because the medication that I was on was breastfeeding and pregnancy safe, I really wanted to stay with it. A lot of the other medication options are not. And I am breastfeeding right now and I just wanted to be able to, if I could, continue that. So we decided to switch to every week and it's been a game changer. Like literally I would say three weeks into the every week, I was feeling like my old self and everything came rushing back. Like my productivity, my focus, my like desire to do things. Like the sticker shop has like kind of been like re 
reborn in the last couple of weeks because I've just had this like life put back in me and it didn't in the first 12 weeks of doing it every other week and just like three weeks into the every week and I felt like my old self again and it feels really crazy because I didn't realize how bad I felt. I ended up going back to my doctor for another follow-up at the six week mark and I felt like a different person at that appointment. So I've been on the every week protocol now for I think like seven or eight weeks and I just hope that it continues working for me because I know some people say it eventually like you'll have to switch medications anyway because your body gets used to it. But for now, I'm enjoying it and trying to make the most of my days. The other thing that I wanted to update you guys on, this is like something that you would like tell your bestie that you haven't seen in like a while. Um, but I mean, that's kind of what you guys are. So my whole life starting in sixth grade, which is when I mentally turned like my brain on to the idea of like doing something with your hair other than just brushing it. Cause before that, like I was a kid, I didn't know. Um, but in sixth grade, I started realizing that my hair texture was a lot more difficult than other people. It was naturally curly, but it wasn't like a pretty curly. And in order to have it look reasonable, I couldn't do things like wash it and let it air dry like some of my straight haired friends. And I couldn't put gel in it or mousse like some of my curly haired friends, nothing worked. And I learned to manage it with a lot of heat styling, like today. Today, my hair has been blown out straight with a blow dryer after washing it, and then I hot rolled it with hot rollers because even the blowout wasn't good enough. It was still like kind of like kinky and curly and like frizzy and like it just, I've always had to work so hard on my hair. When I was going through all that autoimmune stuff back in the fall and winter of last year and just feeling at my worst, I started having some times where I just didn't have the energy to dry my hair after washing it, which I literally have not let my hair air dry without some sort of heat styling to it, like drying it and then curling it since before sixth grade. I don't think you guys understand. I never, ever let it air dry ever because in my mind that would just be a waste of a wash day because it would look horrible and I don't wash my hair more than like once every four days so I didn't want to like waste one of my wash days and then ha just have it look horrible for days so while I was feeling like really bad I decided you know what I've been wanting to do this forever I am going to start trying the curly girl method people have been telling me to do it for the whole 12 years I've been on YouTube. Is it 12 years? Whoa. Is it 15 years? I started in 2008. 15 years, stop it. Where did the time go? Okay, 15 years. So I did a bunch of research. I followed a ton of curly haired influencers on Instagram and just like started following people's routines. I would find a girl who kind of, I felt like had hair kind of similar to mine and I would buy everything they used that's pine cone. I would buy whatever they were using and I would follow their routine to a T and my hair always looked horrible. Like it just always looked bad. I just feel like my texture isn't workable. It's just very like fine and tangly. I found one curly hair influencer who also has like really tangly hair, like fine and just tangles up, kind of has like wet netting and stuff, even when it's like super moisturized and conditioned and all this stuff. So anyway, guys, I worked on this for like months because I just was so, I got really into it. I started buying a bunch of product and just like really trying to figure out like my, my curly hair thing. And it just never worked out. It just never looked good. Whatever. A few weeks ago, I ran out of my conditioner and I'm like, well, I have all these curly girl conditioners. And in my head, I was like, you don't use those unless you're going to wear your hair curly, which does not make any sense. But there was this one conditioner that I hadn't tried yet. It came in a set when I had bought some other products that I wanted to try. So I whipped it out. I tried it. And you guys, it is the best conditioner I ever have used. I am in love. I will be using it for the rest of my life. Like it is so good. It has changed my life. I'm going to show it to you guys. I think the brand is Love Yourself. I had never heard of it before. I bought it because there was another product that I wanted and the shipping was really expensive. So I ended up buying this bundle because then I got free shipping. And anyway, I ended up with this conditioner literally by accident and it is the best thing in the entire world. Last hair wash day, not today because I knew I was going to film and I didn't want to like risk it. But the last one, I let my hair air dry for the first time in my life and it looked good. 
and I just feel like a new woman. Like I just, I can't even believe it. So it's a combination of this specific conditioner and this specific brush that I use to brush through my hair with the conditioner in. In the shower, I use quite a bit of conditioner, like a whole big marshmallow palmful worth in my hair. And when I brush through with this brush, it literally changes my hair texture into like a seaweed. It's so silky and wonderful. And even when you completely rinse it out, it just makes your hair like a dream. I definitely recommend trying out this conditioner, especially if you have hair texture that you haven't been able to figure out how to manage. Or if you have curly hair, then I definitely recommend it too. But that and the brush have been like life-changing for me. And I am already looking forward to my next hair wash day because I want to try it again. I want to like see if I can replicate it. I don't know if it was like an accident that it just like turned out well, but if I am able to figure out how to air dry my hair, my life will change. Like, I'm not kidding. Like think of all that free time I'm going to have. If I can do that, even like once every four wash days, that's like two hours of doing stuff with my hair that I will like have that time back. That was fun. I feel like I've updated you guys on the big things in my life. I was thinking this morning, I'm like, what do I want to tell him? I want to tell him about this conditioner. I want to tell him about this salad. I want to tell him about my health and how I'm feeling better and this book and my diet and the gluten and the dairy and the sugar and the sticker shop. And that's, that's pretty much what's been going on. My baby turned one. I can't believe it. I can't believe he's one. What a sweet, sweet little soul. My other one's about to turn five. Where have the years gone? It's been 15 years that I've been on YouTube. What the heck? I turn 35 tomorrow. My birthday's tomorrow. I know. Ugh, I can't believe it. I'm gonna be geriatric as they say. Well, whatever. I already have arthritis. So I already feel geriatric. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions, leave those below. I think I'm gonna do a q and I know this was kind of an update Q&A, but it wasn't a Q&A because I didn't ask you guys to ask me questions. I just went over things that I knew you guys have been asking me about. Um, but I think I'm gonna do an actual Q&A coming up because I know you guys enjoy those videos and I enjoy them too. I have been putting up a lot of videos on my planner channel. So if you have never checked out my sticker channel, which if you've never heard of it, you're probably like, what on earth is that? But it's like modern day scrapbooking, but with stickers and like fun, like metallic foil things. If you liked stickers as a kid, you probably would like it. I just love it so much. So yeah, I have a whole like other channel on that. I'll link it below. So that's everything for this video. Thank you so much Beyond Body for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check them out, I will have the link and the code listed below and I will see you guys with my next video. Goodbye.